there's like one person on the golf course. It's fucking raining out there. It's like spitting and it's cold out. It's mid, you know, mid October, and we don't have a tea time past 10 a.m. Okay, so on uh, on this week's episode, yeah, on today's episode, so we have three things, and the most pressing thing that we have to discuss is. Um, we need to figure out what we're going to be doing with the restaurant at the golf course. Okay. Golf is dwindling down right now. There's like Mm -hmm. nobody on the course right now. And I know prior to all of this going down, we were like, we need to establish whether or not we're going to have a restaurant only restaurant. Yeah. For example, I am a little bit like for when golf shuts down, are we going to be having a restaurant where people can, you know, have, go have dinner and stuff like that. Or do we focus on golf only golf? So when we don't have people on the course or we don't have available tee times, we actually use that as, use that as a mechanism to determine whether or not we're going to have demand in the restaurant, hmm. which I actually think that's a better option. Shut down the restaurant when there's no golf. Yeah. Yeah. Because we are bringing in, walk me through it. Like why? Because I don't think we're going to light the world up with the restaurant and I don't actually think it's worth it having the restaurant open when there's nobody golfing there. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to run into more issues keeping the restaurant open and trying to get and drive demand to the restaurant versus like driving demand for golf and the restaurant is like a secondary solution to all of this. How how far away are the... um, we're, lo- we're looking at like mid November to late November. So we might have like a month of shutdown. Okay. I'm not saying we should shut, like we should completely shut it down. That's why that's one of the reasons why I want to get the meal prep going like fucking immediately yeah. because we can get the chefs and the, and the, and the kitchen staff still there. And maybe we just have like one waitress mm-hmm. per shift just to handle it. If people want to come in and that's it. Yeah. But honestly, think about this to keep everything open, to keep, the lights on to keep the HVACs going, you know, at full steam, like it, it costs a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Um, does it cost? So, so we have to figure out how many meals do we actually need to, to bring in, say at 50% margin on our, on our meals, what do we actually have to bring in in order to keep, you know, two waitresses a day when there's no golf, yep. the, the, the lights on and also kitchen staff employed. There's yeah. a cu- obviously there's a couple people in the kitchen staff that we we want to keep employed. We don't want going anywhere. So that's going to be that's another thing that we have to really consider is is you know, do we actually shut down right when there's nothing to do but potentially put people on layoff temporarily? Are they going to like that? Are they not going to like that? Are they going to come back? Do they, I, I, these guys want stable work mm-hmm. and I want to provide them stable work. There might just be a, a, a little bit of a lull there. We need to come up with some sort of, you know, cause again, Jesse's there right now and he's like, there's like one person on the golf course. It's fucking raining out there. It's like spitting and it's cold out. It's mid, you know, mid October and we don't have a tea time past 10 AM. Oh wow. Yeah. We didn't have one past 10 AM. Yeah. So cause it's going to be raining all day. Yeah. What do we do? Do we shut the restaurant down? Do we keep it open? We, we need to figure that out. Mm-hmm. We need to figure it out sooner than later. So why are you leaning towards shutting it down right now? You just don't think we'll be able to bring in enough business to be able to break even? No, I don't. What do you think the overhead costs are on a day? I, I honestly haven't worked that out. It, it's a, it's not a, it's not a complicated calculation. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, to call it two waitresses. Yeah. Right. For the, uh, um, the, the daytime and, and nighttime yep. uh, shifts. And that's pretty much it. You know, lights are, <laughs> lights and HVAC, like even if we bring it down a couple degrees, it's really not that much. So like mm-hmm. arguably it probably still does make sense to actually keep it open, just one and one. Yeah, so if you're thinking of maybe, to let's, be say, honest. Like, let's say two waitresses and let's say they're working a total of 12 hours combined throughout the day, 12 to 16 hours. Mm-hmm. Uh, at $15 an hour, you're looking at approximately 180 yeah. to 250 bucks yeah. in labor costs there. But think about this. So, so call it 250 bucks times 30. Seventy five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Can add another thousand dollars on that for like utility bullshit. Like it's a couple grand to run utilities there. Yeah, 
Yeah. So cut that in half because we're not going to run them so heavy, mm-hmm. right? Water, like all that kind of shit. But the demand won't be as big. So we've only really seen utility costs be like we, we all of a sudden hit a wall. Mm-hmm. So the weather like shifted very quickly. Yeah. So we're only used to seeing very high demand with respect to utilities. So our utility is going to be typically like two to $3,000 per month. Like we usually seen. No, but will they be like a couple hundred bucks? No, they're always going to be, we have to, you know, to some extent we have to keep the lights on and, and you know, the heat on. And so that pipes don't burn, you know, whatever. Right. But we don't have to run things so heavy. Nonetheless, you know, are we, we don't have to have so much kitchen staff, yeah. you know, like, but we're going to be focusing their efforts on something else to, to curb, you know, the, to, to hedge the downtime mm-hmm. with the meal prep. So we still have to keep the kitchen staff there to get that portion going. We also have the university yeah. meals rolling out, right? Which yeah, you said for, that are going to be what? Yeah. For catering. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and that's, that is going to be three times a week. Yeah, anywhere from one to three times per week. Okay, so they're not sure about like for sure three they, times? They haven't signed up for three times a week, but... Is that something that they do? They actually effectively sign up for three times a week? No, they still, still to this day, they just decided on a whim. So for example, like on Saturday, they just decided not to get meals for the guys. No. Oh, right? That's weird. Yeah. You should I, I, it, re- reach out back to them and ask them like, what can we do... To what, like guarantee three times yeah, per what, week. What, what do you need for us to guarantee? Like what, what can we do for you to guarantee us that we're making you three times a week? Yeah. I think what happened on Saturday was they were supposed to go like out of town and then they were planning on going with like a full team of a 120 people and they ended up only going with like 30 people. <laughs> and so it just didn't make sense to get a full catering thing for I a smaller okay. portion of people. I see. That's okay. kind of what happened like last minute. Got it. Okay. Um, but I'll definitely have that conversation. See if there's a way to set it up where yeah. it's at least a little bit recurring. Yeah, like we should figure we should figure out how to. I would love how to figure out how to get meals to them, even if our like margins are not as high, mm-hmm. like not even as high. Say they want like just using numbers' sake, ten bucks a meal. Mm-hmm. Say if we if we go to them and say, hey, listen, man, we can get you seven fifty a meal if you do meals five times a week, like seriously, mm-hmm. or even, I, I don't even care. Call it 20, 20%, a 20% margin, same as a golf course, but it guarantees us like you're, you're buying five meals a night or mm-hmm. a week. You know what I'm saying? Just like get their, get their guys on meals. Like that might be interesting. Yeah. I'll have that conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like tell, yeah. ask them like, what can we do for them to get like the velocity going? Yeah. Issue is because they <clears> only <throat> have practices the three times per week. Like the guys aren't physically on campus. Those oh, other two okay. days. I got it. Okay. So that like makes they have to it. come into campus to get a okay, meal. Okay. 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 I gotcha. Yeah. Okay, that makes that's, sense. that's the reason right now why it wasn't uh, a higher frequency. Oh, okay. I got it. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, anyways, what, what are your thoughts on the, on, on whether or not to stay open? Yeah. I think that I would, I would prefer more of like a reduced hours rather than a, like, for example, maybe still a lunch service, but I'd say maybe a dinner service and just actually like advertise it, say, Hey, like we're open for dinner, put it on the sign outside. We're open for dinner. And yeah, you, okay. Maybe you're only bringing in two people on four hours per shift or something like that, but you at least have like some sort of availability. Got it. Cause okay. also my concern is that if you're just, if you're avail, if you're, uh, whether or not you're open is just on a whim mm-hmm. and they're like, okay, are they open today? Are they not open today? You can't really check Google to see if we're open. The reason and it's, the, kind of, it's kind of like tricky to no, for sure. With. And, and the, what I was getting at is there's a lot of work involved in making that happen. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes of this golf course to like the simulators, the meal prep, like all that kind of stuff that arguably would produce a way more income. I'm not all that concerned with, with, uh, with having a dinner service mm. or lunch service or whatever. I don't, we're not going to light the world up doing that. Right. So that's why I was like, I, I would rather almost not even focus on it and not so that we don't even have to offer it. That's a good point. But... There are a lot of people in that vicinity there that there's not really any restaurants. I think even, I think just from like a, um, there's 50 people right on the fucking course alone. Right. There's 50 fucking houses there, right? I think just from a customer experience perspective alone, even if we're not lighting up the world up, lighting the world up with the revenue, I think just 
having some sort of consistent, predictable schedule of being open will help with customers. Because I I imagine if I go to a restaurant and one day it's closed when I thought it was open and one day it's open when I thought it was closed, all of a sudden I just get frustrated and I wouldn't want to go again. Yeah. Right. Got it. So I think some sort of predictability uh, is important for like showcasing to your customers. Got it. Okay. So what do you think would be a good uh, hour? Like two to eight? Two to eight's good, yeah, because you, know you can I mean? still capture a lunch group. Yeah, but then you also or like, like twelve to eight. Yeah, I don't mind twelve to eight either because that yeah, way, yeah. if there's some golf yeah. in the morning or afternoon or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. just one person. We don't have to do two people anymore. It's What's our restaurant right now? Ten till nine. You know what? Let's call Jesse. Call Jesse Carmichael. <clears throat> But this is something we got to figure out. I did not think it was going to come this quick mm-hmm. because the weather changed so quick. Yo. Hey, what's our what's our current uh, restaurant hours right now at the golf course? Uh, uh, Eleven to like technically nine, but generally it's been around seven seven thirty these days. Okay, so what we're thinking is is only bringing one waitress in at this point now, and reducing it from like twelve to say eight. What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, we'll never, I don't think we're even going to hit eight, but sure. Yeah, that's fine. And they just leave when it's not busy. Yeah. 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 How do you, how do you feel like about start, that? Like for like starting like now? Might as well. Yeah, okay. Like it's, it's not going to be, it's not looking good for the rest of the, the, no, the rest of this week is like a fucking write off essentially. Yeah. So what Clark and I are talking about is we should establish some sort of hours uh, at least reduced hours, but still keep the restaurant open. We figure mm-hmm. because we still want to have, you know, provide a good experience for people. I was not necessarily all that concerned with even keeping shit open until we actually had the simulators and stuff. The weather does get nice like later in this week, though. Like sat- uh, this next week, we're gonna be good for like Friday to like Tuesday. Like what I I know, good. but what I'm saying is, is now that you know things are dwindling down at the course i think we need to establish like different hours at least until we get the simulators in so that we can have like maybe people stay there until fucking midnight who knows you know sure. so i think that that's what we start doing until we get the sims in yeah okay. sims sims what do you think i agree like just kind of changing it up a little bit for the meantime yeah i think we should well, do that uh, what's the decision for like today like a day like today where we have no tea times for the rest of the day i think we still i think we do the same thing i think you is somebody there in the restaurant right now uh simon will be there till four i think you just i think honestly just like let him go what do you mean like i don't i don't see the point in like even having like do you see the point in even having simon there or somebody there now not really i guess well that would only leave jesse right is, is that what that is that what that means? Jesse would only leave you, right? Uh, Vince is calling me. Um, yeah, and I mean, like, that's fine. If he's gone at four, I can shut down the rest of it for the rest of the day. Like, that's fine. No, no, no. I don't think you should shut it. Is somebody else coming in after four? No, because Curtis already was like, t- Curtis was like, yeah, I already, like, told Amy. And, <laughs> but, like, the same as last night. Like, once he hit three hours, I was like, dude, go home. Like, all, like I closed up last night. Okay. That's fine. Okay, do that for tonight, and then we'll establish, we'll establish like uh, restaurant hours uh, for decreased demand. Now, maybe we'll do like a, you know, like a, a noon to a noon to eight, or some uh, something like that. Or like maybe I, I don't know. You think people are even gonna? Do people come in there for lunch? These days, not so much. Like the big lunch drive earlier in the year was like the regulars that are that were there like four days a week. But now, oh, okay. Like the, the fair weather golfers are kind of gone, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, what would be a night? What would be a good time to have a, a, a waitress in there? Or server in there? I mean, you, you just bring them in and out. Whatever time you want to uh, open up the kitchen, you bring in, bring them in an hour before. So I know. I'm asking you. Be, I'm asking you because oh. you're there. Start, yeah. Starting from this time to this time during the week. What time? I would say 12 because 
and it's like, oh, hey, we're open for lunch, and if they play four hours on the course, they're not really done until 12 anyway. So. What happens if somebody comes in, like, at 12? I got to imagine that's going to be a problem. Well, okay, so you bring someone in at 11 or even, like, 11.30 just okay. to open up. Okay, so 11. So I think, like, 11 to 8, call it. 11 to 8, and that's their, that's their hours. Reduced yeah. hours, and then now it's, like, one person per day, one shift, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, until we open, someone to close. I I know. I I think I think it's one person opens, one person the same person closes. All right. What do you think? It's probably all oh, scheduling. You, you give you do like you do the same eleven to three, and then like a three to close or something instead. Okay, that's fine. Okay, make that happen. Only one. We're gonna have fucking nobody. Some yeah, yeah. Only work I got it. Yeah, I keep I keep forgetting that like a lot of these a lot of these people are in school and shit. So they're in school or they got a second job or shit. Like yeah. That. Okay. All right. Make make it happen where there's, there's only one person in there. I think it's okay. Make it happen where there's only one person working at a time right now yeah. until the foreseeable future until we get the simulators. Yeah. All right. Goodbye. Okay, bye. So let's change all the the info on the on the website and Google and all that stuff. Like open for dinner service. Like. This time, this time, this time. Okay. Okay, so that's solved.